Hey guys, this is Commander Cutiekins here, and I decided to refilm this video because the lighting in my room is really bad. Um, so I decided to come out on my back porch. However, it looks like it might it's thunderstorm. Well, you can't really see it. <clears throat> so, anyways, this video is to talk about how I cleaned my Arctic Fox Gianni, and oh my gosh, it is so amazing. Though, I don't really recommend this on some of the webkins that have like airbrushing on their face because it might take some of that off. I'm not really sure. I haven't tried it. And if you do plan on doing it, maybe somehow cover that up so the water doesn't get on it or soap or something. I don't know. So anyways, here we go. Yay! So the first thing I did was I used, and let's see where it is. Hold on. I use this. It's the um, Bumble and Bubble shampoo, the gentle kind. I chose gentle because I didn't really want to use something harsh on his fur. And he does have a few face markings too that I was kind of worried about. So I did use the Bumble and Bumble shampoo and oh my gosh, it works wonders. It's amazing on my hair, but it's even better on Gianni's hair. It just oh, made it super soft. And so I ran them under the water, which I used lukewarm water because I was worried about the heat because you don't want to use heat on the, the fur because it'll ruin it. And then after I washed the shampoo, set that right there, after I washed the shampoo, I put on conditioner and I pretty much just lathered him up all over and then just ran him under the faucet for like a good five minutes making sure I got all the soap off of him because I didn't want to leave any soap on his fur while I blow dried it because I was worried it might ruin it. So after I did that, I pretty much took him out of the bath and got a towel and just kind of like rubbed him in the towel. I didn't squeeze him too much because I was worried about like misshaping his body or whatever. So I just kind of like rubbed him under the, rubbed him in the towel and then I rubbed, and then I sprayed some of this in my hand and just kind of like rubbed it all over his body. It's hair milk, or whatever you call it. It's kind of like a detangler, but it's really, really, really soft. Like, well, it makes your hair really soft. It's liquid, but it makes your hair soft, okay? It makes your hair soft. And so then while I blow dried him, I used this kind of comb, which it's missing a few teeth, but that's okay. Well, no, it's just teeth are weird right there. And um, I used this comb to comb him out while I was blow drying him. Let's see if I can do this without with one hand. Come on Gianni, stay still, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> so I would back comb his hair while the blow dryer was going that direction as well. And then I would brush it back to the normal way and just do that over and over and over. Same with the rest of his body. For your blow dryer settings, I would use high for the power but cold for the heat because I, like I said, the heat is not good for their fur at all. And so I did that for a really long time. And then after I felt like his fur was mostly dry, I went ahead and put him inside of a pillowcase and then tied the pillowcase up and threw that in the dryer on low settings and cold air for a good 15 minutes just to make sure I dried him enough, you know, internally because I was wor worried about mold growing. And so yeah, it took like a good, hour and a half to two hours but it was worth it because he's practically like new now I don't think you can tell but his fur is just so soft and so white he was kind of like one of those nasty yellow white colors to begin with because I got him used and his fur it looked like it had water damage and that the person didn't really know how to fix it so it was kind of like all matted together like see if I can do it something like that I don't know <laughs> it just did not look appealing and the brushing, I mean the combing while blow drying it helps a lot, trust me. It takes out a lot of those um, kind of like knots and la, 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 la. the combing kind of separates the hairs for you. So it's really important to comb it. So yeah, these are all the products I used, including the comb. And then I don't have a blow dryer because I never like carrying it out here. And yeah, so just make sure. No heat when you're doing this. And I mean... Honestly, some people say not to put them in the water, but I felt like a big difference happened with Gianni. And it's more like it's your risk if that's what you want to do. I chose it because I just couldn't stand looking at him anymore. 
I just didn't like the way his fur was. It was nasty. It was stained. It was yellow tinted. And I felt like it was a good thing that I did it. So I really like it. Now, will I do it on any of my other weapons? Probably not because a lot of the other ones have, like I said, the airbrushing on their face. And I just don't want that to come off because it's, you know, it's their markings and I really like it. But it's your choice, like I said. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Gianni says thank you. And I'll post some pictures after this video so you can see better because this camera sucks but it's the only one that's recording. And yeah, bye!